Meta Derby, it's truly free to play. Well, the first feature that I love about Meta Derby is that there is no barrier of entrance. Meaning the NFTs, you don't have to have a lot of money to pay, an, to pay a horse, right? To buy the NFT so you can start playing to earn. That's a massive difference because what we have seen nowadays is that uh, the NFTs to play are just expensive, right? And a lot of people just can't afford them. So I love the idea of making this a free NFT that you just have to do certain tasks in order to be gifted an NFT by the people of Meta Derby. How to play to earn? Well, there's many ways. One, you can get your horse to race. The more it wins, the more you win. Another one is you do horse breeding. So you take your horse and you match it with another horse, male and female, hopefully. And uh, th there you go, you get NFTs and uh, that, that starts earning you money. The other one is you can buy land inside the game. And the other one is that you can actually build stuff on the land to, for example, to, 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 to have races, for example, or to breed unique horses. So you don't have to have a lot of money to have an NFT because you can earn it just by doing uh, basic tasks. And then with that free NFT, you can go on and do a lot of things and you can earn money. Lovely. What do you think, Machine? Yeah, I can so relate to that because a lot of us has downloaded it so many, you know, casual free-to-play games, right, from the mobile app store. Uh, you just casually play, you know, get started. If you like it, great, you get hooked on. Um, if you don't like it, you know, that's fine, move on. So it's very low risk and there's no, like, you know, heavy, oh, I have to spend this much money just to even get started and I don't even like the game. So I think free-to-play merging with the existing play-to-earn ecosystem is probably the way to go. Meta Derby, it has both a governance and utility token. DBY and Hoof. When it comes to any game, and especially for play to earn, the game mechanics are going to be really important, and that's exactly why in Meta Derby there's a dual token model, and this is very important for you to know the difference and what you can do with each token. So one is called DBY, and the other is called Hoof or H O O F. So what's the difference? So let's start with DBY, the governance token. A very important, this does have a limited supply of 1 billion tokens. And this is really important because for a lot of gaming uh, platforms and projects, they have microtransactions, so it makes sense to have like 1 billion or hundreds of millions. So that's number one. Uh, number two is you can use the DBY to purchase metaverse land. So this is going to be important because later on, right, you'll be able to you know, buy your own land for like setting up racetracks. Uh, you can use it to you know, breed horses and so on. So it gets kind of you know, funny, but it's going to be very important because, well, you need land. And third is, of course, you can use DBY for staking rewards. So the longer you stake DBY, the more rewards you get. And this is good because it aligns with the longer term incentives of players, right, who would actually care about holding DBY rather than just uh, investors who are just in it for the short term. And then fourth would be, yeah, gaming governance. This is, you know, made for the players by the players so that you can voice out your opinion, you know, you, the future direction of the project. And by doing so, you basically participate in Meta Derby's DAO. So how do you earn these DBY tokens? Uh, there's two main ways. One is you can win them by racing in the weekly tournaments and winning tokens. Or number two, you can earn them by breeding male horses, which we'll talk about more later on. Next up is Hoof, which is basically the utility token. This is basically like the oil that runs you know, the engine. So what can it be used for? Well, many things. We'll just go over some of them. One is you can use it as the entry fee to attend horse races. So just like real life, you know, you got to pay a ticket or to watch events. A second would be, yeah, to breed these male horses, you got to pay a little bit too. So yes, you know, there's going to be strategy around this, but that's part of the gameplay. And third would be to purchase mystery boxes. So this is going to be fun. You know, you buy them and then you're going to unlock something, right? These are NFTs. So how can you earn hoof? Well, several ways. One is you need to place top three in every race to earn these hoof tokens. And second would be winning the horse lottery as well. So lottery makes a lot of sense in horse racing. And third would be to even host your own horse racing as well. And this is going to be a whole new like sub economy way to create you know, passive revenue if you can do this right. Meta Derby, horse racing, 
earning, and don't forget, horse breeding. The third love that I point is the horse breeding. You need at least one horse, obviously male or female, right? And, uh, and, and you need sufficient uh, hoof, H-O-O-F, on your Meta Derby uh, wallet. Once you have that, you can actually go on and try breeding uh, horses with specific st uh, statistics so they become better and better and better and they can earn you more money by being unique, by winning races and so on and forth. Yeah, what I love about this like breeding logic is it's not just a simple game where there's only one way, right? What actually happens is you have to like really strategize about the genotypes, you know, the five characteristics of the horses and there's no right or wrong and you just have to really experiment and that's the fun part of games. Meta Derby. Apart from being free to play, it's also shared to earn. Check out the referral system. So guess what? You know, we all know referrals, but there's a twist with Meta Derby and here's what you need to know. First up is in order to generate referral links to invite your friends and family, you have to stake the DBY governance token. Why? Well, this is good because it's going to prevent a lot of spams, right? People just sending now a bunch of referral links that don't even care about the game in itself. So the incentives are now aligned when you have to stake DBY in order to generate these quality referral links. Now, the exact rebate rate that you get depends on how much DBY you stake. It's simple. The more you stake, the more rebate you get. And here's the thing is when you send your referral link to your friend or family, what they get is a discount on the NFT that they purchase. So we all have discounts. And the other side, if they actually purchase NFTs using your referral link, guess what? You basically get a rebate, you know, based on the amount of NFT sold. So it's in proportion. Meta Derby, how can you maximize your earnings? Well, look into the horse characteristics and genotypes. That's a little bit difficult for me to understand at the beginning, but I'm sure when I'm playing it, it's going to be a lot easier. So every a horse starts with a class 5 and then you can go and upgrade it as you race and do other stuff. The only way to upgrade uh, to a new class from that 5th class to a better classes is having MMR which is matchmaking races. This is the MMR is an indicator of how well a horse has done in the past. So while you may not have, you will not have any negative points if your horse finishes last, uh, you definitely need to have a good performance of your horse to get more M um, MMRs in order to get to improve your horse. So uh, one thing that I like a lot is that when you trans, if you happen to want to transfer your horse, that horse is going to go with all the MMR and the right uh, uh, class. It's not like other games that when you transfer it to, to another player or someone else, the NFT, it loses everything and it goes to baseline. So that's really nice. Uh, what they're trying to go, uh, the meta derby people are trying to do, is to create a unique experience for each horse. So, so it has a personality and it has a way of its own and not all of them behave and, uh, uh, and act in the same way. So I love point number five and once I play it and you guys play it if you want, you are going to definitely understand much better. So once you start getting your free horse, you, know, you play the game, you like it, you should really then start thinking about how to upgrade your horse, how to breed them because that's when it comes into like genotypes, the horse characteristics and by strategizing you know, which types you can breed, this will affect the actual performance of your horses and then your chances of success and earning in the game. So it's very important that you really think about the strategy and have fun, of course. So those are the five points to help you get started with Meta Derby. And comment down below, which Metaverse game or play to earn platform would you like us to cover next? We'd like to know. Guys, for the latest news and updates, be sure to follow our social media, including Twitter, Facebook, Telegram groups, and TikTok. There you go, follow us. Links down below.